Welcome to another episode of Tippy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are kind of turned into a book club. And I've got two brand new books to add to my collection from the Thrift Bookstore. And uh, there is an affiliate link in the comments down below, by the way, if you also want to order some books. Um, and yeah, I thought, why not share that with you and kind of share my love for the lore of old school magic. Um, and I want to talk about what books are good, what books are bad, what books you could read if you just start reading the lore. Um, first of all, it's really hard to find these books in the Netherlands. So that's why I'm ordering them from Thrift Books, which is all the way in the States. It's simply because there I can get all the books I need. And here in the Netherlands, they're super hard to find. As a matter of fact, I tried to find them online and in some of the stores here in Amsterdam and I couldn't find them. Doesn't mean you can't get them. It just means I couldn't find them. And then I looked in the UK and it was quite hard and quite expensive. And I ended up at Thrift Bookstore because there I could get secondhand books. Uh, they are all the way from the States though, so it does take a while. Now, um, you already see some books here laid out. I guess one of my favorite books and the book that I first read was The Brothers War. Now that is not here because I read the copy that's actually called The Traveling Brothers War book because it goes from magic player to magic player and it's sent all over the world. It started in the States. I believe it's now somewhere in Italy or in Spain. If you want to know more about that traveling book, uh, you can click on the info card that's appearing right now because I actually made a video about it, but I think it's a super cool initiative and it's really part of that whole old school spirit. So I actually don't have that copy, but for me, The Brothers War would be a good book to begin with. Now, another really good series of books to begin with is actually here. And um, I probably probably liked reading this even more than The Brothers War. And this is a series of three books. We've got The Whispering Woods, Shattered Chains, and we have Final Sacrifice. Now, all these three books are about Ghoul, the woodchopper, uh, and about uh, his sister, Greensleeves. And uh, yeah, they're just, it's, it's a great adventure. And if you wanna understand more about what actually happens in a wizard's duel, read Whispering Woods, just read the first two chapters because it's all about a wizard battle. Because what happens is Gruul is a woodcutter. Um, he, he lives in the Whispering Woods and then all of a sudden his village gets in the middle of an attack between two wizards. It's not part of the attack, it just happens to be right in the center of this wizard battle. And that of course ruins the entire uh, village it just does a lot, but I don't want to spoil anything. And that's kind of the start of the story. And if you enjoy playing magic, you know, read this because then you will enjoy playing magic more. It explains what these spells actually look like in a real setting. And it also shows you how wizards, how they operate, how they cast their spells and where they get their mana from. You know, it's, it's very inspiring. At the moment, so I've read these three books. I would definitely recommend these books. Um, at the moment, I'm reading this book, The Cursed Land. Uh, the cool thing about this book is that there are two cards that play a central role in the book that hardly see any play in Magic. That's Equinox and Cursed Land. Now, Equinox, super cool art. I've always been kind of tempted to play it, maybe in the sideboard, but it just doesn't see a lot of play and it just doesn't seem to make the cut in a lot of my decks. Um, but in this book, and that's the cool thing about it, Equinox is super important, you know? Um, so I kind of like that. And again, Cursed Land also plays a big role in the book. Um, but today I want to show you two books that I recently bought. I actually opened one already because I couldn't wait. That's this one I'm going to show you. This book is called The Gathering Dark and uh, it's the Ice Age Cycle book one. So there are more, but this book is about um, this book is about the dark and, and that whole set. Now the dark is one of the most thematic sets in Magic the Gathering. I, I just love it. I think Jesper Meerforce did a fantastic job with setting the scene with the dark. Um, and if you want to know more about kind of the lore of the dark, this is your place to go. Go to go read this book. Um, I actually listened to it on a, um, as a, how do you call that again? An audio book. But now I want to just read the real thing. Um, this is actually a card in the set of the dark, which again is really important in the lore but in real life, it hardly sees any play. And I, I always think that's kind of funny that these cards in the book seem really powerful. And then when you look at them, you're like, ah, can't really use it, but it is a super cool card. 
If you know what card this is, because I don't want to spoil it for you, let me know in the comments below. You know, I just, I just, I just want to see. Oh, and I want to show you the back of the book. Um, let's let's just read uh, read what it says here. So after the war comes to darkness, Terra Sierra lies in ruins. Nations have fallen. Goblins raid the land, and an oppressive faith throttles the city states. Now, deep within the wall of the Conclave of Mages, Joda must decide if unlocking his own immense power is worth taking a step into the Dark Lands. The epic of the Ice Age begins. And then here, this is actually Barrel's Cage. The card Barrel's Cage. How cool is that? This, you probably recognize this as well. Is it called the Ruin Sword? I think it's called the Ruin Sword. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, there are just a lot of references to cards in here. Um, I'm really looking forward to read this book and to get all into the dark lore again. It's been been so long. So this is definitely a book that I would recommend. Um, and then there's a book that, again, I've only read it as an audio book. So I haven't actually read it. I only listened to it. But now I've ordered it because I want to read it. This is probably, probably a really good book to start with because it's simply the first Magic the Gathering novel. Look at the state, I love that. They're all secondhand, these books, by the way. Uh, this is Arena, and Arena was, I believe, the first Magic the Gathering novel, and it is just super cool. It explains the different colors, it explains the strength of the different colors, it explains what a planeswalker is, it's just super cool. So um, let's, let's read the blurb here as well. Where magic and mayhem meet, festival will never be the same. For even the fighter mages of the four great houses prepare for their annual battle in the arena. A stranger arrives for the festival. Who is Garth One-Eye? And where did he get, to get his powerful spells? What is his interest in the fifth house, destroyed a generation ago? And why is the Grand Master of the arena so afraid of what Garth might do? The answer may bring about the fall of the four houses or Garth's de death based on the popular Magic the Gathering trading card game. Cool, right? And these are the two cards that they would give you. Like most of these novels, especially the, the, the early ones, would give you uh, some cards in them. So it's super cool. And yeah, as you can see, they talk about four houses, but we've got five colors in Magic, right? So the fifth color is represented by Garf One-Eye. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. But this would definitely be a really good book to start with. So if you're thinking about hey, I want to know a little bit more about the old school lore of magic. Start with Arena, then probably the Brothers War, and then I would personally go to this cycle of books. It's super cool. Okay, so uh, that was all that I wanted to share about these books. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite Magic the Gathering novel, and why is that your favorite? And uh, what novel would you recommend to me? So I'm first going to read these two and finish this. So I've got some reading to do still, but after that, what MTG novel do you think I should read for now? Thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.